Buenos dias all RGT85 here. Hope everyone is doing well. We've got some video game news to talk about. We've got some PlayStation stuff, which is great because I am a PlayStation YouTuber and we have some Nintendo stuff to talk about. And I'm not a Nintendo YouTuber. Don't you dare call me one. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're someone who just watches me a lot and hasn't subscribed because you're lazy, which I understand, hit that subscribe button as well. I'm waiting. All right, I feel like you've subscribed now. Without any further ado, let's talk about what's going on in the world of video game news. So when it comes to PlayStation and PlayStation fanboys, I am probably the biggest one of them all. What's up, gamers? Dreamcast guy here. Hi, hope you're... Oh, wait, that's not me. That, that's not me. But I, I do enjoy PlayStation. I do enjoy Xbox. I enjoy retro games. I just talk a lot about Nintendo for whatever reason the case may be. But yesterday in my video, I actually talked about how people were clamoring for a PlayStation showcase and Sony had not announced one. Well, literally minutes after I uploaded my video, we got a bombshell announcement that a big PlayStation showcase will be happening live next week. So here's the basic information here. Um, PlayStation showcase broadcast live next Wednesday, May 24th at 1 p.m. Pacific time. So 4 p.m. for all the normal people out there. Uh, a wealth of new games and new IP are headed to PlayStation 5 and PSVR 2. So basically, it's going to be like an hour-long presentation. There's going to be, you could co-stream it if you want, but you know, we'll co-stream it on the second channel. Um, we'll watch it on the second channel just in case I, uh, I get a claim on it or something because you know how that is. Um, the show will run for a little bit over an hour focusing on PlayStation 5 and PSVR 2 games in development from top studios around the world. Expect a glimpse at several new creations from PlayStation Studios as well as spellbinding games from our third party partners and indie creators. So obviously very strong focus here on PlayStation 5 and PlayStation VR 2. PlayStation VR 2 to me is definitely something they need to focus on because it feels like that came out and then nobody talks about it anymore like i own one okay i bought one you probably didn't and you call yourself a playstation fan but no i bought one i played gran turismo 7 and star wars on it i thought horizon was wasn't that great um but i played those two games on it and then it's like okay well, what else is there like i feel like there was better stuff on playstation vr 1 than there is so far on psvr 2 obviously that will change over time but it's like what's the incentive for companies to make games for psvr 2 like sony needs to be funding some of these games but obviously the main focus for most people is going to be the playstation 5 stuff because we really don't know much about what sony is doing we've heard about games and this that and the other we know that spider-man 2 is supposedly a fall 2023 game but beyond that we don't really know much at all it's kind of like the great mystery you know really when you think about it xbox probably we know the most about what they're doing because their games have been delayed as far as the second half of the year we don't know anything really about nintendo or sony in this case there's been heavy rumors of metal gear and castlevania if metal gear solid is not at this presentation it's never happening i don't give a damn what any insiders or any people say if it's not at this presentation it's never happening it is never happening like this is where it has to be now sony obviously has a lot of strength with their third party games because they can kind of supplement their first party games being a bit slower you know i mean just to be real here the xbox series x the, the the playstation 5 these didn't need to come out when they came out like it's finally time for these systems to start getting into motion as far as titles are concerned and beefing up the library of games so i'm very excited for this you know i'm looking forward to seeing you know i'm looking forward to seeing some stuff that really pushes the playstation 5 i feel like the playstation 5 the xbox series x they've been very quiet and while there have been some hits with PlayStation 5 more so than on Xbox games like of course Ratchet and Clank and God of War Ragnarok I, I feel like it's time for there to be a more continual process of releases because you know both of these systems they're kind of relying on third-party titles to sort of keep them afloat and you know it's time you know obviously Final Fantasy 16 is going to be a huge game Sony is very smart in securing exclusive third-party games for their platform minus Forspoken because well nobody likes Forspoken but uh yeah so I'm very excited for this if, if you give me some Metal Gear or you give me some Castlevania at this like this will be god tier god tier show me some Spider-Man too as well Spider-Man is my favorite Sony franchise right now but 
what do you expect to see at this showcase do you think hype levels are a bit too high i'm assuming this is going to be their summer event you know obviously xbox has an event in june we're expecting a nintendo direct in june of at least some varying size is this their big event for the summer and if so what do you want to see at it let me know in the comments section down below and yeah i'm excited and finally the nintendo switch and third party games has been very rocky to say the least a lot of bigger third party titles that were supposed to be coming out get canceled like like the the, the marvel what was that stupid card game that uh midnight suns midnight suns got canceled for the switch hogwarts legacy at this point in time you might as well cancel it on the switch like that's coming out so much later than the other versions of the game but there's one franchise that made a big impact with their third party release on the nintendo switch but there's someone that doesn't release a whole hell of a lot of games and that is mortal kombat there's been tons of rumors about mortal kombat 12 and finally we got a glimpse of it today and it's coming to the nintendo switch and honestly like if that's not huge if that's not shocking for you you're dumb because we'll talk about it in just a second here but mortal kombat 1 pre-order exclusive playable character shang sung september 19th warner brothers is very weird about trailers so i'm not going to show it it's pretty much a cgi trailer anyways it's in our blood discover a reborn mortal kombat universe created by the fire god Liu kang uh, Mortal Kombat 1 ushers in a new era of the iconic franchise with a new fighting system. That'll be interesting. Game modes and fatalities. Immersive story campaign. I mean, they usually do have a pretty good story campaign. They have the announced trailer here. That's pretty much the story stuff. Cameo fighters. Choose from a unique roster of cameo fighting partners to assist you in battle. So I'm guessing that's kind of like the trophy system in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, where it's someone that will assist you in battle but you can't necessarily play as them uh pre-order exclusive character shang Tsung, september 19th we see it's a playstation 5 a xbox series x and s steam epic store and nintendo switch version there's no xbox one and there's no playstation 4. if that doesn't scream kind of strange to you like that's crazy because that means that there's no previous generation build to sort of you know expand upon with this like a lot of games you would assume that okay well they're going to use an xbox one build or a playstation 4 build in order to make the switch version you know the port of it but that's not the case with this game there's actually going to be a specific dedicated nintendo switch version now mortal kombat 11 sold very well on the switch and honestly it was a damn good port yes the crypt area wasn't very good honestly but you know it, it definitely struggled at times but they did patches to improve the performance and the visual quality of mortal kombat 11 and honestly it was damn good now of course we're in a bit of a different era we have things like the steam deck and this was obviously going to release on steam so you can play it on the steam deck you can play it on various devices as well you can play it on this bad boy right here the aces rog ally but i'm very interested in the switch version because obviously the switch version is going to be optimized for the nintendo switch but i want to see what they're able to get out of it because i think a lot of us you know we're kind of at the point where it's like okay well what else can you really do in terms of graphics in terms of frame rates for the nintendo switch mortal kombat 11 was 60 frames per second on the switch and yeah, so Mortal Kombat 1, I don't know how I feel about the name, but I feel like this has been a journey for me. Because young RGT, he got his Sega Genesis back in 1993 during Christmas, and his Uncle Mike got him a game called Mortal Kombat. And Mortal Kombat was the tits back then. It was the greatest thing ever. I didn't care about Street Fighter nearly as much because it didn't have blood, it didn't have fatalities. So my mother discovered that I got Mortal Kombat. I was eight years old. And she made me return it, and I got a crappy game. Well, guess what, Mom? Mortal Kombat 1 is coming to the Nintendo Switch, and you can't stop me. And here's a spoiler alert. I win, because I got Mortal Kombat on my Sega Genesis. I win. It took me a very long time. It took me 30 years. 30 years. But I got my dub. We've got Mortal Kombat. I might play this today. This is it's a decent version of the game. But yeah, Mortal Kombat 1 which is 12 it's coming to the nintendo switch playstation 5 and xbox series series of platforms big announcement i'm very curious to see the switch build of this game you know who's working on it i feel like it's going to be outsourced as well but yeah let me know what you think of this game in the comment section down below Alrighty, so that's gonna do it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it be sure to give me feedback in the comments section down below and as always guys thank you for checking out this video if you are new to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button like comment share hit the bell as well <coughs> I have something in my throat, and as always, I'll catch you guys on the next one. I should have edited that out, but I'm not going to, because that's how RGT rolls. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.